Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're on location at Rec Bar 812 today in southern Indiana, shooting a review of Big Guns by Williams Pinball. Please look for our review underneath the description of our YouTube video, and let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, who doesn't like Big Guns? It is a staple in the pinball community because it actually integrates a upper play field onto the main play field with a four flipper setup. And as you can see up there, you have your traditional targets, with drop targets. And uh, beyond those, there's targets after you knock down those drop targets. Traditional setup flipper gap, not too wide, in lane left right, out lane left right. And of course, the out lane on the right says gate open, gate will open or close, which makes it an out lane. Targets to the left, you have a load gun WL, uh, which is to the left of that, which is a kick out. Targets, then you move to the back, you have your drop targets, your lock. And then to the right side, you have a uh, load gun WL again. So pretty simple layout. Pretty simple layout. Art is what you would expect from a game of this age. Obviously the most in the middle of two all the way up to nine by from the center. And of course you got 50K, 100K, and it's going by points for the red and green guards and score lit value. Um, but beyond that, very simplistic play, moderate level of difficulty on this game. Replayability is okay an average replayability to this game. And as you see, there's the lock to the top back behind that green target. Theme is uh, is obviously uh, very specific, so it's Big Gunner. So theme's not bad for what it was, and obviously the timeline that this game came out. Artwork is, is okay for the timeline, not great. Call outs are minimal. Obviously, soundtrack is minimal based upon the age of this game as well. And as you can see, there's there's actual targets behind those drop targets up to the top right and left. And that lock kicks out and it locks in the middle of the table, then shoots out, habit trail, right flipper, right in lane. Replayability on this is, is average. Fun factor is, is, is good. I think actually the way that the, the play field is set up, it's actually pretty decent. And of course, as you notice on the left and the right side of the targets to the center of the table, you have some locks on both sides. Now we have a stop peg that came up and now it's saying attack the castle. Now we've hit multi-ball. We also have a magic post in the back, which is going to keep our balls from going out. The only way they will go out is through the uh, outlines. Magic post has now disappeared. Magic post in the back. And so obviously the, the fun part of this game is if you're in a multi-ball, right, and you have one ball that's at the very top, and you're trying to hit those balls with those top flippers and you have another ball coming at you at the lower play field, it kind of changes the, the rules on you a little bit uh, because obviously you're trying to focus in two different areas. So you just got to keep your eye on the ball and use, use your kick out and your magic post to the best of your ability to maximize your points. But all in all, this is actually a pretty decent play. Gameplay is there. is actually broken up on the game a little bit obviously because the targets to the middle kind of keeps it to one dead center shot and then of course you got the upper play field with the flippers so flow's a little off on this game it's kind of blocky but it's not necessarily a bad thing if i didn't have that magic peg there i'd have been done All in all, not bad for what it is. Back glass actually looks really cool. You, you have the, the king's chamber to the top, and of course they're shooting at it uh, on the back glass. Uh, but beyond that, we scored this game at 8.6 out of 10. Uh, that is what we're sticking with, 8.6. Uh, beyond that, look for our metrics below the video. That'll be in the description. Again, thank you for watching today. This is your neighborhood arcade and pinball tall guy, Nathan, signing off. Till next time.